Hey there, Nick Hack is here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to undo a git commit amend. For example, you know, let's say you accidentally use these flags. I've done videos about this one in the past around interactive rebasing and changing some local history. But yeah, the amend flag, in case you've never seen it before, will actually add your changes into the previous commit instead of making a brand new commit. And no edit will just make it so that you don't need to re-edit the commit message. So for example, let's go over the scenario here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a new file here. And uh, sure, I'll add it. And then we'll go ahead and just commit like, I don't know, like add a file. And by the way, I should mention here too that in this video, I just created a very small Git repo ahead of time. It's not pushed up anywhere. It's literally just an empty readme file. But in this case, we just added a new file here. And now let's say that we added another file here as well. And we add this one here too. And this is where your brain maybe goes into autocomplete mode and you accidentally amend this commit into that. And really what you wanted was that B file to be its own separate commit. So if we take a look here at the git log, you know, we can see that we now we only have one commit when really we want to. So we could just do a git show whatever on this one here. And we can see though the problem since we did amend is it actually has both changes here in that one commit. And there's a couple of different ways we can solve this one here. And uh, let's start with the more inefficient way. And it's the way I did it initially until I Googled around and found a nice little solution here, which we're gonna cover in the video in a minute here. So you can just use git reset, right? Head to the one here. And what that's going to do if you do a git status here, it is going to unwind that last commit entirely, right? We can see it's been gone and both files are available here to be staged and then commit. So what you could do here is, you know, you can add the A file here and then you can just put in your commit message to be like, you know, yep, we added the A file here. And then you can do the separate one here and we can just commit this one and add B file, sure. And then if we do a git log here, we can see there's both. And if we do a git show here on the last one, you can see just the B file is there. And then if we do a git log here and just grab this SHA, then we can see also that the A one is by itself. and. This gives us the end result that we want, but getting there was a little bit painful, right? We had to undo that entire commit. So you as the creator or whatever the, the maintainer of the code, you need to go back and recreate that A commit. And in this case, yeah, it's just an empty file that I touched, but in your case, you know, maybe you're using get add dash P, which I've done videos about in the, in the past, you know, just patching in, you know, segments of a file. Maybe you had to like add some stuff and change things. And before you know it, you had to redo all that work and it was kind of a lot. So there actually is a way to do this where we can just pick apart the part that was amended in accidentally, and then just recommit that in a separate commit. So let's take a look here at the git log so we can see there's the B file. So let's recreate this problem again, where, you know, in this case, I'll just do a touch C file in this case. Let's add it, sure. And then we'll just uh, accidentally amend things on purpose, of course. And then here in this case, you know, we're back in, into the scenario where we had before. We wanna just unwind adding this new C file. So what could we do? Well, instead of running a get reset uh, head tilde one, what we could do is just a soft reset on head at squiggly one like this. And now if we do this, here's the magic. So if you do a get status, notice here that uh, that new C file that was added before, it's already staged, ready to be commit. And then we can just commit this one um, as a new file like this, and then we're good to go. And if we do a git log, you can see now there's three individual commits. We have the end game solution that we want. And if we take a look here at this one, just to prove that things are still working here, you know, this B file commit only has the B file there. And if we do, um, you know, a get show here on the last commit, then there is the C file all by itself and everything is working very nicely. Now, I don't know, have you ever take, taken a look here at the ref log commands output? So if you take a look here, you know, we can see some of the things that we've done locally in our Git client to get to the state that we're at now. You know, I made this little Git repo ahead of time before the video, then I just added this file here. We can see where we, we did the amend, and then we used the reset command here to move to head till day one. And then we basically did the same thing, you know, here's the amend, but in this case, we did a reset moving to head at squiggly one. Now. You might be thinking like, well, what's the real difference between head till day one and you know this as well? And this is one of those funny things where it feels like every time I talk to a developer or someone who works with software, it feels like everybody knows like 2% of Git, but everybody knows a different 2%, right? Uh, and that's kind of funny to me because yeah, it's such a powerful tool, but there's so many things. And you know, I don't feel qualified enough to really answer this in a way that actually makes sense because I really don't know the super differences between the two, honestly. I just know that when I want to undo and amend commit, then I am going to use this head at one approach here. And it's not really to amending, it's any git command, you know, you can use these references here too. But I do want to pull up the docs here, you know, this official documentation for get here. And it just says this is a special notation for the commit that head used to be at prior to the original reset commit. You know, in this case, one change ago here. And of course you can take a look at the ref lag docs for more details here. Um, yeah, in that case, I don't know, in my mind again, like if I just want to completely undo a commit, you know, like if I wanted to uh, wipe out this commit entirely, 
and to get to the point where the files are still on disk, right? And then I can do whatever I want. Then yeah, sure, I'm gonna do a reset head till day one here. And now we can see that everything is good to go here, you know, and we're back in business here. But again, you know, with that commit that we're going over before, like undoing the MN, that's not what we wanted. But yeah, in my mind, I just separate these out as two different use cases where yes, I use this all the time just to undo the last commit entirely. But now I'm gonna start using the at squiggly one syntax there if I accidentally amend things. And that's gonna basically do it for this video. So if you actually have a better explanation of the differences between these two heads, variants here. Yeah, we would love to know in the comments. So let us know. If you have any questions, let me best to answer them. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.